See if it's puck him. Hello and welcome back to another revision. Uh, the game we play is Tribune and the game of today is called Hurricane and one of us will sadly be blown off the board. Before we jump right into the game, uh, if you want to learn about Tribune, uh, we have a website, tribune.org, uh, and you can find everything there, manuals, uh, the free DLC on the tabletop simulator, and everything else. And without further ado, I think we should just get right into it, uh, and yeah, let's begin. Yeah. Jumping right into the board view and turning on the music. Hello. Music is by Darren Curtis, by the way. Great job, Darren. Uh, you can Indeed. check out his homepage as well. Down in the description is everything you need to know. Yeah, and Tribun is an ancient Roman battle where you try to dominate. Dominate the opponent's side so the tribunes with their army fighting and the special thing about tribune is you are not just shoving these pieces around but you can stack them up and create ever more and different units with different movement and attack patterns everything is down in the description on our homepage you find um, the manuals as well, where everything is described in full. Okay. By the way, this flickering is uh, when I repair the board. Sometimes that's necessary. And I'm trying to count. I'm trying to do this. It's mm -hmm. a very common approach, I think, that we learned from one of our uh, alpha testers. Mm. Well, no, it's well, it's uh, not an alpha, is it? Well, anyhow, uh, so you're attacking me. I'm defended, but, you know, maybe in the future it's a threat. Mm. Yeah, and this is a usual approach by you when you're creating a vast amount of the Sagittari. See, let, let's just pick these up everywhere where the green circles land you see these fields are all covered by these dudes so it's tip it's, it's literally a minefield where i'm yeah not really willing to step onto it there's the next sagittarius i mean this is crazy stuff yeah it's an interesting thing i've been doing lately so usually i was the kind of person that built a lot of uh, uh, riders uh, in order to get into the enemy position mm. but nowadays I like to try to build a lot of small pieces and walk forward I don't know see uh, if you always do the same thing it gets boring very quickly and so you know you can change it up a little bit and the threat is also like what I did here, you take two of these archers and then you form the ballista six pieces high and a nice and devastating pattern. You see the colors are different than let's say from the Equus. The Equus is green, this means he can walk and attack on these fields. The Centuria, uh, no, no, the ballista, sorry, can walk on these diagonals but it cannot fight there. It can just fight on these long lines everywhere when when an opponent is in sight the ballista can strike. And so this unit is weakly protected. It should be sufficient as if you would take the three pieces, I would take three pieces from here. Yeah. And I then you could choose, you could either take this or this, but I reckon you would take this. As you gain one piece more and it's defended and so we end up with this situation. this is so i mean for beginners in this game this is so confusing because you're you have to calculate not just with the unit you are attacking with but 
the transformation it endures when it is attacked, it changes and then the pattern is completely different and then you have to watch out where can I go next. And it depends on what your opponent does, so... Oh, hang on, I made a crucial mistake, by the way. I made a very, very, very bad mistake. Yeah. Um, if you, you take and you I can take, take five. Three, you can take uh, you five. You take neither this nor this, you take the Tribune. I would uh, take, and yeah, you would, and you, you would, yeah. yeah, you would be dead. Okay, but you, yeah, but yeah, so, um, an another mistake is that this is protected by five units, so you could take five and everything is fine. Yeah, I should have slept <laughs> more, I think. <laughs> it's um, a little yeah, early in the why, morning. That's why I disregarded protecting this piece, because, you know, that's there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, everything is safe and sound so far. But we both make our preparations. Here yeah. there's something lurking. You can always try to build up a ballista on your side. No, well, not right not away. There. There's this rider. But here. Yeah. And um, w the reason why I moved this is uh, I really didn't like the prospect of potentially being taken. Mm -hmm. So that uh, these defenders are not uh, useful anymore and I can get them away. I probably did that in the next move. Well, oh. I attack. So now you have to move. Unless. And you do. And you threaten this dude, completely undefended. And I'm protecting this. Whoa, fast forward. I mean, I had the opportunity to, let's say, just move it here to build this triangle of Astati. Astatus is a small dude with a spear. Uh, but no, I, I instead chose to, to build the ballista. Now you could have... Yeah, this is the threat. This is a threat going there. If I take two, you take me. If I take four, uh, you you take me with less pieces, but you still take me. Which uh, is the reason that I couldn't take anything there. And having six pieces that close to my Tribune would be very, very bad. Yeah. This is a general rule of thumb. Don't let that happen. It's really bad. And so I yeah. chose to counteract. I mean, this was really foreseeable. Interesting, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's interesting. I, um, so the taking, I think, was very clear. You took, I took again, and I thought you would take. Yeah, this but is this is not really defended. But you snuck in between and took there, yeah. which, you know, I could... Oh! <laughs> and this was one. something I did not see. What you usually do, you do not just take, you take Impero. Impero means now my unit is still alive, but it's working for the other side. It's under the command of the Black Tribune at this moment. That's not so... so good. I could have even taken Impero there. Funny that I didn't do that, but... Anyhow. So you then, uh, well, yeah. attacked me. Which is a very intuitive thing to do. And I combined. Now I'm very quick, so I can really easily get away. As you might be able to see, I have these four fields. Whoops. But your army seems to be very agile at this point. Let's repair it again. Um, yep. Because you have these five archers, very swift. You can move basically everywhere. And you have this unit going deep into my lines. And I have just these small dudes here scattered around, they cannot really do a lot, uh, short, short term. Yeah, and I then try to get in, which, you know, yeah, it's at the moment it's defended. 
Yeah, I, I think it's a decent idea. Uh, you try to get in there, uh, like for example, you try to do this. Then maybe instead of dealing with this, I decide to spice it up a little bit. And it could be a very interesting game because um, obviously you're very much threatened. Yeah, like I mean, this would be a win. So yeah. you have to do something against it, but you can also try to attack on your own. But not right? really. This is a triangle of doom. Three Sagittari, each defending, uh, all defending each other. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm kind of. You should do something like this or something. I don't know. Yeah, but... it's not really leading uh, anywhere. So, yeah, so I thought that could be interesting, but you took that away from me. That's now what I you can, can usually do. Because a ballista can just walk there if there is an opponent on this field. It can be taken and then the ballista has to conquer this field. Now the field is empty and it cannot by any means arrive. Now instead you just use the diagonal to move to this spot me from the side well that's a little bit of overkill isn't it now you have two of those Interesting, um, but what why did really I... perfect this uh, yeah, I'll give you I... that. can we take back once I will why did I do this and not that that seems to be much better, because I have the open file where your Tribune is on. Instead, I chose a variation where I block myself. This is so well, stupid. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you have a way forward. So if I attack you, I have to disallow you from going there. That could also be beneficial. Mm. For example, uh, if you have just a corridor of three things, then it's much harder to actually get the Tribune uh, killed than if you had uh, like three like this. Because if you have three like this, you can uh, use Servi uh, to attack. And, and then you, uh, in, in the other case where you just have like a line, you can't do that. So I can see how that could be nice. Mm. Yeah, but this move wouldn't, would, wouldn't have been possible yeah, but now it is because I'm blocking myself. But yeah, this this is something. Now it's a discovered attack. Move away. I take six pieces and you do not retake. Yeah, the point I think if I took my thinking was like this. If I took there, I would win six and lose three. Mm. But I'm already down 10 pieces, uh, if you look at it. No, um, you, you would win 3 and lose 6. You, you already lost 6. Or what? Yeah, but um, I, I'll take back this. Here in this scenario, I can take 3, you take 3. Uh, whoops. And I take 3. Now it's your turn. Yeah, but and I... What? Let me finish, yeah, okay. uh, please. Yeah, 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 what yeah. I really didn't like there is now I only have 16 pieces. In the scenario before I had 19 and now I have 16 and even though I gained 3 pieces back I wasn't very happy with this. Um, because I'm down a lot and now I need a lot of pieces to counteract this. You're slow, mm. so I was thinking Maybe, if I speed up, I can beat you using uh, development instead of, you know, pieces. Yeah, that's I have interesting. Pieces. Yeah, that's interesting. If you have not enough pieces on the board, you cannot deliver a fatal blow. So this is very reasonable. And so I, th uh, I thought maybe I can get there in the future. Or... Uh, yeah, maybe on this diagonal too, to get there. Hmm. Here comes the ballista. Kind of 
They are not really threatening the Tribune, but attacking uh, the Sagittarius here. And, and if you take, can take, you, you if cannot the take. Takes, he dies. So the countermeasures will kill you. So I'm just positioning myself, and it is kind of a fork because I was ready to take the two pieces here on top and free my men. That's why you took the entire unit and brought them out of my my distance. And I was, yeah, I was not happy with taking the Sagittarius, it would have meant, yeah, gaining three extra pieces, being up in material a lot. But if you lose, you lose, you know? Yeah, and so you took that, which yeah. is much better. It's bigger, so, you know. And um, more threatening, I mean, it, it kind of enchained my my own ballista i couldn't move i had to protect this field now my ballista is free and here's the second one again yeah, and so what i did now is a very simple thing i was a little bit scared and you can decide whether you want three or eight which are the usual heights you want to escape with and i decided in this game i would try eight which is why i brought this here i tried to get to six here and then on either of these uh, hexagons i wanted to become eight high which now isn't possible sadly yeah i take away the combination field and i'm positioning myself to strike this is interesting now i cannot strike no matter which unit I would choose to have here, let's say an Astatus or an Equus, with with a Servus you could take always one piece and so my attack wouldn't remain. This could be interesting though. Yeah, a double attack. And you uh, take this too. Yeah, which... double attack with... This is nice. This is a fork. Clean fork. And, for example, I run away. Well, now... Well, that would be... An that would be really bad. bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so... My enraged prisoners now taking a full advantage. Yeah, and instead... a little bit in time trouble, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. I mean, nearly the whole game you were in command. Uh, this was my kind of fork. Now I freed my man either way. And this was stupid. Why I could have taken here with with a little momentum, but no. Yeah, That's this is trivial. time trouble. I mean, we play a three plus zero t twenty. This means three minutes on the whole clock. But when it's drained, the game is over. You gain no incremental time when you make a move. Now he's dancing. Um, now you became an Equus. Yeah, and, and T20 means you have always 20 s seconds to think about your move. But it's not sufficient for Tribune. It's really, really it's depressing and stressing. Yeah. So you attacked me. I get an, uh, the choice to attack you now, but that wouldn't give me anything. So I went there. Yeah. You uh, come on. You try to find your salvation in becoming a Centuria. Yep. Eight pieces high, the most powerful unit in the whole game. I really did not transform it in a correct way. Look. And there it is. <laughs> Honestly, in hindsight, I really like the archer. Maybe Centuria is a little bit bad to run away with, but... Uh, here now, you see everything is under attack and you can kill instantly. This dude is not protected, now I have to deal with it. Yeah, protecting everything, protecting, protecting. 
you just try to bring the last remaining pieces to the front line to assist your tribune somehow yeah, but saving him. Rule of thumb, uh, one tribune alone can't protect anything. Like, this piece will surely be lost. Uh, it's not a matter of if, but rather a matter of when. And so now we just see you simplify this situation, I think. Yeah, that was... Now, here is a fork. I can take two pieces. And that's what I usually do. Chop it down or, like a hurricane, blow everything off the board. If my enemy is yeah, down in material or he has nothing left, then he has no threat to offer. But I have to find a way. Uh, yeah, somehow. This might look scary, but it really isn't. Yeah, because As my I tribune, can't do anything. Uh, the, the tribune provides a lot of defense, or necessary defense. What's funny is that if these two fields could be magically protected somehow, they would be stuck. Like, say you would have this situation, oops, then that would be a losing move, even. You could go there, and now I don't have anywhere left to go. Yeah, and you, you are forced, because of Zugzwang, you have to move somewhere where you get killed. Because this dude can just march forward and the field is blocked. So that's not the case though. Uh, I can still move. And you just went away, which is interesting. I think you could have taken there. But now you took me. Which... Yeah. That reminds me of, of a quote from your side from one of our very early games. He does what he can. It's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> could have used as a meme uh, yeah and so you took uh, and now I really didn't have anything left I, was yeah. I, I, I either not a lot of time you make quick moves so to, to pressure me somehow of course <laughs> uh, completely correct and so now it's just you bringing all your Everything pieces. Everything is encroaching. There are a lot of fun ways to uh, defeat a Centuria. You can, for example, create a line of uh, slaves, Savvy. Mm, slave, yeah. which uh, is very neat. It looks very uh, funny. We call it the fisher net technique. Yeah. Um, also, multiple ballistae, uh, how is a very nice and easy way to win too. I think we did that also. <laughs> now you come this way around, and I was a little panicking. See, my time is down. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh man! Can I convert it? Maybe. We will see. You have a comfortable amount of two minutes from three initial minutes remaining. This is very, I mean, a good time management. Well, that's <laughs> very cocky. I think that's it a little is. bit interesting. Um, y you can, if you move this away, uh, be very threatening, like this, for example. I think that would be a win. Winded. Um, why? No, this could be taken, couldn't it? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. This is a, and I guess protect... this is a win. Yep. No, no, no. Uh, no, this one is... Ah, everything is protected so far. Yeah, so that would have been a nice way to win. Just jump away from everything. Um, you could have also achieved the same thing if you just put everything away. Like this. But, uh, you know, time trouble. It's 
It's not that easy. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of. When By you have way, enough time, there are a lot yeah, of. Yeah, just this quick one. Yeah. This is like a very common thing. Exactly. Uh, just for you to see, even this would be winning without this one. Uh, because uh, this glues in the Centuria and uh, you, you have, you're forced to make some moves. Ah, yeah, by two to one, Let's... you die. Let's go quickly through it. I think the outcome is uh, rather easy to see. But this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, it's not a it's not a net. It's like me trying to fish you with a fishing rod, but it it's not really working. Oops. Oh man, he had it. <laughs> well, thankfully that doesn't end the game for you. Um, now I bring everything I have. Come on! <laughs> oh, dude, that's really not like. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my I mean, goodness! It was very creative to lo uh, to use this little anchor to uh, protect this Centauria. I'll give you that. Now you oh. take him. Yeah, I was forced to do so because uh, in this scenario, and it's very unfortunate that it is that way. Jesus Christ! With your behave, thank you. <laughs> tamed. Uh, if two Centurias are facing off, they have very li limited ways to move. The only hexagons I could go to are here, but they're out of bounds. Yeah. So. That's why I had to do something and I took this. Because, you know, you might as well, if you lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I was taken. You lose the bold way. Yeah, it was kind of instructive and kind of embarrassing. And yeah, this game really had a lot, especially moves. 135 moves it took really a long time to bring you down because you are a hard nut to crack. Thank you. Well, Thanks everyone for your participation. Max and I, Carsten, we will be here every Friday for you presenting our new matches we fought on the Tabletop Simulator. You can do it as well. Down in the description below you find the link to our homepage and from there you find everything you need to play Tribune on your own. Printable files, uh, the manuals, the 3D printer files for the pieces and ma many, many more things. Uh, check it out. Uh, tell it to your friends, give us a subscription and a like if you like, and see you next time. Bye bye, see you soon. On Tribune.